So here I am, I've selected the foot bone on the imported armature, I've isolated the X rotation uh, F curve in the graph editor, G and Y, and I'm moving the entire F curve up. You can see the bone now angling, starting to angle down. Look at the mesh of my foot, that's now roughly parallel with the floor, exactly where I want it to be. I now need to put those feet on the floor. Uh, I'll select the imported armature, go into the armature panel and select X-ray so I can find the hip bone. There it is. Hover the mouse cursor in the graph editor window, hit home, and now I can see all of the graphs for the hip bone. Isolate Y location, because in the, uh, uh, local orientation, Y is the roughly the, the up and down uh, orientation. Uh, Isolate the F curve again and G and Y and move the entire F curve, in this case down until my foot is just on the floor. Uh, I need to zoom in a fair way to get some um, scale to fine tune it. There we go. That'll be roughly right. Um, remember, I'm working on the F curves here, not on the bones themselves. Uh, so that looks good. Maybe up a Nat's whisker. A bee's dick, that'll do. There he is, he's just on the floor. Uh, if I scroll forward slowly, you can see his, his toes poke through the floor. That's okay, I'm animating the toe bone separately later, once it's baked onto my armature. But now scrolling through until his left foot hits the ground, and boom, the whole foot goes through the floor. So now we have to adjust the imported um, F curve. Uh, for this part of the F curve only, not the entire F curve. So A, D, select, right click on the current keyframe, make sure proportional editing in the graph editor window is on, and then again G and Y, uh, and adjust the uh, influence of the proportional editing just to smooth out the surrounding keyframes uh, and move it up until it's just on the floor. The left foot now, uh, I've, I have to choose that bone, G and Y on the entire x-axis uh, F curve to get that parallel. The Y orientation needs sorting out, so isolate Y, G and Y, and that's now flat on the ground where his foot lands. Um, and I think that looks pretty good. Let me see. Scroll through. That foot's flat on the ground, flat in the Y axis as well, uh, and moving forward. We'll see, yes, the toes poke through, these toes poke through, but that's all going to be fixed up and when I, when I get this onto my own arm, armature. Uh, and he lands on his back in the middle of the air, so we need to sort that out. Go towards the end of the F curves now, from this keyframe frame forward, uh, A to D select, B to box select, and now G and Y with proportional editing still on. Let's go into uh, side view so we can see G and Y, and just move those keyframes until it's in a good position. That's good. Leaves a bit of room for the jacket to lie under him, uh, and I'm happy with that. Remember, I'm just doing the major gross adjustments now to the imported BVH before actually uh, baking this onto my own armature. Okay. Uh, Select all the bones, hit the little eye up there and re-hit it so that all the bones are visible again in the curves A and A to make sure they're all still selected so all of that data is available to the, to the baking when I get round to it. Now I want to just sort out this hand. Um, if we go back to the beginning, frame one, uh, and get them upright, we can see the hand's in a very unnatural position there. Sometimes these BVHs come in with uh, you know, these strange uh, twisted orientations. So again, select the entire F curve, G, Y, and into such a position that the, the, the keyframe one is roughly around zero. It doesn't have to be exact. But if you do that, then the action starts out with the hand, in this case, being in the rest position. There you go. That looks pretty natural. Uh, reawaken all those F curves again, click on the little eyes, there we go. So we scroll through, the hand looks good as it is there, but I can see a real problem coming up here when 
uh, that big adjustment happens. It actually looks quite natural while he's in flight, but then he lands. It's in that strange angle. Again, understandable when you've taken a spill like that, but it just stays there. So I need it to do, uh, flop down into a more natural position. So go to the end frame and just manually readjust that pose into something that looks reasonably natural. Uh, you don't have to spend too much time on it. This is a background character, as I say. It's not going to be uh, really visible. Let's see what the other hand looks like. Yeah, that's okay. So a little bit more on the Y, bring it around. I, rotation, and boom. So the final frame now has this entirely new orientation. Uh, for now, I'm just going to isolate each, each of these axes again. A, D, select. B, box select. Uh, and delete just a heap off the end of the animation. A, reselect. Find a uh, key on your your menu panel there. Go up to interpolation mode and Bezier. That smooths the transition from the penultimate to the final uh, keyframe now that we've deleted a few. Uh, select, delete. A to reselect key, interpolation and Bezier. And finally the X axis. A, B, and make sure you don't get that last keyframe, that's good, delete. Key, interpolation, Bezier, nope, A to select first key, uh, interpolation mode and Bezier. Cool, scroll through, let's see, he lands with his hand in that funny place, uh, but then over the final frames that falls down into a reasonable kind of rest position, that'll do. Oh, it looks a bit odd, but I'll fix that up later. I think I'll play with that a bit later once it's on my own armature. Now, playing through, look at it. It's, it's jittery. Uh, again, these uh, keyframes can be a bit unclean when they come in. So select them all. Make sure they're all visible to the system again. Uh, and go down under key, further up, clean channels. Hit that. That can get rid of a few of the spikes and hollows. Um, Alter and, and as well, always, uh, have, did you just see there on the keyframes, ALT and O. Keep looking, ALT, O, boom. Uh, just get, uh, ALT and O uh, smooths out the keyframes. And so now he walks along, there's not a lot of jitter. In fact, it's nice and smooth, and boom, he lands on his back. So I'm happy. Get to my own armature, A and A, select all the bones in pose mode. Uh, control tab into... Object mode, which is important, hit animation on the tools panel, uh, bake action, frames 1 to 79, only selected, visual keying, clear constraints, make sure you hit the pose button and OK. And it will now bake that action, all of those uh, uh, ro uh, rotation constraint actions onto my own armature. And we're done. If you go and uh, go back into pose mode, uh, there's the hip bone uh, animation data uh, baked onto it, spine mid, uh, and so on. Go into the constraints panel, no constraints there, they're all gone. The only, uh, action, only thing moving my armature now is the animation data. Find the imported armature, select it, delete it, we don't need it anymore. Uh, and there we go, it's all done, let's see. Go into the action editor, paste to rename these things into something that's meaningful so you can find it again later. Banana slip it is. Uh, rename that. Uh, I need to find it later because I'm going to be combining this with another action, uh, a walk action up into, until this point. So the character will walk along and then slip on a banana and fall down. I, I don't know many characters that would be standing there and just spontaneously launch into a slip like that. So uh, I'll be doing that in the NLA editor. I need to import another BVH, a walk cycle BVH that kind of marries up with this one and then combine them in the NLA and, uh, and so on. We'll be doing that next episode. Now this hip bone starting to annoy me again. Let's go in and have a look at that. He lands on his back uh, and he rolls back up into the air. So I've isolated the Y location F curve. Not a, not a lot of detail there. I've got to increase the, 
the scales, so hover the cursor in the window and hit home, and the uh, hit home, and there you go, all the detailed uh, verse interview. You see he lands and he sort of wobbles and bounces at the end, a bit like he's landed on a waterbed, so I've just isolated that part of the F curve and I've moved it up a tad, put the cursor there and S, Y, S on the Y, y uh, axis, and just smooth that end curve out so he kind of lands and stays where he's landed without too much wobble and bounce anymore. Uh, we need him to uh, roll, when he rolls forward, to sort of settle a bit lower than he does. It would help if I was on the uh, animated frame. So I've, I've selected the, the final frames in G and Y again with proportional editing and just moving it down until it lands in a good position. A bit more, I think. G and Y. And Bob's your uncle. I can live with that. So there we go. We've imported a BVH. We've uh, done the major adjustments that, uh, until I'm happy with what it is anyway, uh, baked it onto my armature. Uh, and next, next uh, video, we'll look at the NLA editor and combining two BVHs.